Hi friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot, and today I'm going to review for you the Cosmic Tarot by Norbert Losha. And Mr. Losha, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, I apologize. Um, it looks like it's an, uh, a um, German name, and I know that the marks above the O are called an umlaut, but I don't remember how to pronounce it correctly. So anyway, um, it says it's, it is published by AGM Urania or Urania in Belgium. This is an older deck, but it's a good one. And this is what the box looks like. The back says, um, the intention of the Cosmic Tarot is to make the old knowledge accessible and understandable to everyone by using as few secret symbols as possible. You can grasp the meaning without knowing the old secret doctrines of astrology, Kabbalistic numerology, and the Tree of Life. All right, now this also says, it says here, it is also distributed by U.S. Games Systems. So, that's interesting. Maybe the guidebook will give us some more information on that, on the publisher. All right, so let's take a look at the deck, and this is just a regular flip box, as you can see. So here is the little white book, and it says AGM Urania. So in, okay, yes, this in Germany. That's in Germany. So I'm guessing then the distributor in the United States is U.S. Games. That makes sense. All right, so this is a typical little white book. Let's see how it's made. And we'll do a one-card reading at the end so you can actually see how the book is written. Um, this is a 1998 publication. So it's a little bit old, but I know it's good. I still see people using it in readings. So um, I think you'll enjoy this. It's There's an introduction, and I'm sure it can still be found on um, probably on Amazon or definitely online somewhere. So it talks about the tarot structure, the major arcana, and each major arcana card has the number and the name of the card. And there is a uh, paragraph with a description and a meaning. So a short description of the card and a meaning. And then we get to the minor arcana and we start with the suit of wands and it goes through the suit of wands. Um, each card has a short description and a meaning as well. And then we have, instead of a page, we have a princess, a prince. We have a princess instead of a page, a prince instead of a knight. And then we have a queen and a king. And it goes through each suit of the minor arcana the same way and at the end we have how to read the cards there's a one card draw a three card spread to use a five card spread a seven card spread a ten card spread oh that looks oh it is the celtic cross i was going to say that looks suspiciously like the celtic cross well there's a good reason for that it is the celtic cross and then it says other ways to spread the cards using the tarot cards and then Share the magic. Oh, with other cards by um, AGM Urania, uh, there's a Raven card oracle available in English and Spanish. Okay, so that's interesting. So that is the little white book. And then we have a card um, about Norbert Losha, the creator and artistic designer of the Cosmic Tarot, was born in 1951, is a self-taught artist, and currently lives in Germany. He originally began his professional life as a surveyor and studied the history of art for several terms before taking up painting. It was interest in the esoteric which led him to the tarot, an interest which found the perfect means of expression in the creation of the Cosmic Tarot. And so um, this is what the cards look like. They are kind of a satin finish. They're not super glossy. That's what the back looks like. And um, there's that. And then there is the guarantee. Should a manufacturing de defect be found in this deck before it's been extens extensively used, we'll be glad to replace it. Okay, well that's nice. And then let's take a look at the cards. And like I said, we'll do a one card reading at the end so you can see just how the guidebook is written. Okay, so we have the Fool... The magician, the high priestess, and what I've noticed about these cards is all of the people have very different faces, and there is a lady who teaches uh, 
tarot classes and other classes of divination online. And she actually uses cards to um, tell someone like what their soulmate will look like or what their next relationship person will look like. And if you do that, this would be a perfect deck because there are all kinds of different looking people in the deck. Oh, and I'm just going on and not even telling anybody. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me go back. Psh, I got all excited. Okay, so I showed you the High Priestess. Here is the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant. See what happens when you get me distracted. No, when I get me distracted. The Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Justice, The Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, The Devil, The Tower, The Star, The Moon, The Sun, Judgment, the world. And then that was the uh, major arcana. So now we come to the minor arcana. And we have the ace of wands. The two of wands. The three of wands. The four of wands. The five of wands. The six of wands. The seven of wands. The eight of wands. The Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Princess of Wands, the Prince of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands. Uh, now we have the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups. The Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups. Now I'm noticing something. So we know that Wands is the suit of fire, and it seems that most of the wand card, Wands cards have like yellow, orange tones like that. And look, the Cups cards have blue and green tones. I just separated them because I thought that. So we'll see about the um, Swords and Pentacles and what they have. Okay, Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Princess of Cups, Prince of Cups, Queen of Cups, and King of Cups. Okay, so then we move on to the Swords. So let me just make another pile of Swords so we can see. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. Two of Swords, and the Swords seem more purple. So the Cups are more bluish and greenish, and the, the um, so Swords seem to be purplish uh, for the suit of air. So we have Three of Swords, Four of Swords, well, maybe not, Five of Swords, because now these have pinks and yellow, so maybe I'm wrong. Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Princess of Swords, Prince of Swords, Queen of Swords, and King of Swords. Okay, so that shoots my theory. That is not what I said. It was not correct. Okay, then we have the Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, well, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Now a lot of these have greenish tones. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and then some don't. Ten of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles, Prince of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles. Okay. Hopefully it didn't drive you crazy with that. All 
All right, so let's see how they shuffle. This is about the same size as a typical tarot deck, so I feel like they should shuffle well. And strangely enough, I don't think that the guidebook has reverse meanings. Uh, they shuffle very nicely. We'll check on that um, as soon as we do our one card reading. So these shuffle great. I love the way they bend. I think I didn't say, um, yeah, they're, they're really fairly thin cards, but they're still made nicely, and I, they don't seem cheap or anything, but they are thinner cards. And, you know, frankly, I don't mind that. I feel like sometimes the thicker ones seem to stick together more. All right, so let's do a one-card reading. Spirit, what do you have to say to our viewer? through this deck. What does our viewer need to know or think about or pay attention to right now? What does our viewer need to know or think about or pay attention to? And there, there it is. Wow, that one jumped right out. And the card is Temperance. So let me hold that up so you can see it. That is your card, Temperance. It's a major arcana card, so this is an important message for you. Let's look it up. And temperance is number 14, so if you're into numerology, the number 14 or even the number 5 might be important to you right now. It says, a beautiful woman celebrates the ritual of temperance by pouring water into water, meaning harmony, mental equilibrium, the middle path, improvement, union, rejuvenation, patience, coordination, carelessness, or indecision. Okay, so now I'm assuming that carelessness and indecision, which seem to be so different from the other keywords here, um, I'm assuming that I would probably focus on those if, if the card were reversed. So um, the typical meanings of temperance would be like harmony, mental equilibrium, the middle path, improvement, union, rejuvenation, and patience, and coordination, and um, all of those, and, and balance, and all, peace, calmness, and all of that. And then we have the two last words, carelessness and indecision. So those might be more of, well, something to look out for, because of course, everything has pluses and minuses, but I would um, focus on the carelessness and the indecision more if um, the card were reversed. All right, so... That is my review of the Cosmic Tarot by Norbert Losha. And like I said, it's an older deck, but I really like it. It's really straightforward. And um, hopefully you enjoyed it too. If you did, you know what I don't like about these flipped off boxes? Sometimes they get caught on the cards or the guidebooks, and then they smoosh things. But there we go. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. It's completely free for you, and it helps me out a whole lot. I thank you for joining me. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.